and dancing but yeah. you have to be careful right and you have to stand near the door in case the party ends right so in that point of time we're looking for some safety good quality and well run management so that brings me to the point is it time for the hdfc twins to waltz you know because they're going to be one in the coming uh, weeks or the coming month or so so are they set to do a bit of a dance and participate in this uh, party well if you look at it in the last 3 months on the last 3 years you'll see that hdfc bank actually has been a relative underperformer in comparison to the headline index and some of their peers uh, as well now in july 2023 we'll be getting the record date and we get you know both these two entities that will come together and the merger ratio as well has already been announced the nifty bulls in fact will be hoping hopefully they're going to waltz and going to be participating in this party or hopefully even leading this party because in the merged entity they'll have nearly around 14 and a half to around 15% of the index and you'll have to that will have to perform to take the index higher or at least hold on to the index you can't have a longer period of underperformance but in the near term there could be a couple of technical factors that could be weighing on the stock one is a sebi rule that a mutual fund scheme cannot invest more than 10% in a single security so in the near term that could be a bit of a headwind to motion the sheet believe there will not be such a large overhang on that front the other problem was the sheet was baking and there's going to be an increase in the weightage in the msci rejig but that didn't happen as well and that was a bit of a disappointment but those are more technical factors fundamentally the bank is looking rock solid and let's break it up for you in three big points they have stakes in you know hdfc life as well as hdfc A amc as well as hdb uh, fins you know that value could be anything between 190 to 220 rupees per share various analysts have given some uh, uh, you know numbers out there but out of the total share price you'll see around 12 to 15% approximately is accounted for uh, via these entities itself so stripped of that well it's trading at close to around 14 13 and a half to around 14 times on a fy 25 basis remember five year average is close to around 20 so you're getting it at a bit of a discount even on a price to book value well it's trading at a discount in comparison to its five year average so that as well on this front is looking relatively okay and the return ratios are fairly good the roe and roe is as well quite healthy for the bank of this size this is the broad number that most on the street are working with well finally if you're convinced that you know this is the way to play it and you believe that hdfc the merged entity will look up well then maybe hdfc limited will get preference in comparison to hdfc bank because ultimately you're going to be getting the merge hdfc bank entity and as of now there is a, a, a bit of a cushion with hdfc limited to the tune of closure on 1.7% the big question is is it time for them to join the party and is the walls on the cards well meer let me post that question to you itself at the start of the show we were talking about a couple of those entities that are trading still not at the pre covid uh, period 